Um, how did it come that you got into this field? You invented some interesting stuff, and uh, what is your background for for the, doing things like this? Well, Tom, it goes back quite a long way. Uh, my undergraduate work was in philosophy and in biology, and I was always very interested in the mind and uh, uh, the brain and how all those things work. I was a biomedical engineer and still am. I got my doctorate in 1978 at Case, and I've been a professor of biomedical engineering. I was at the Cleveland Clinic for many years. I worked at Bell Laboratories. So I brought a lot of technical background into this project. Uh, the discovery is about the 10th EEG system I've designed. I did my first one in 1973, a little amplifier. And um, this one now uses the most advanced technology that's available uh, for high speed, high accuracy, digital EEG that's suited for imaging applications as well as regular EEG. With regular EEG, what do you mean? Well, this meets the same specifications as the best quality clinical instruments. It has a DC to 70 hertz response, uh, again, very accurate, um, high speed sampling, so there's no aliasing or other types of errors. So when it's used as a clinical EEG, it stands up right next to the best clinical systems out there. And uh, we further uh, developed software to do high speed real time imaging. We use both a joint time frequency analysis, high speed digital techniques, we combine them with Fourier analysis, and a variety of databases. So we have a very comprehensive and flexible system for QEEG as well as imaging. So you talk about high speed information yes. processing in the yes. amplifier. Why is this necessary or important? Well, this is important to produce the cleanest, highest quality signals right at the beginning. Um, in order to be able to process all the way up into high speeds like gamma and to produce images at high speed, we need to produce clean, accurate data um, as quickly as possible. So we take advantage of computer technology inside the discovery um, and uh, the data that then is delivered to the uh, computer has already been filtered and uh, cleaned and um, is of the highest quality. So. Um, is it also necessary for, uh, for doing QEGs or providing data during the neural feedback like the C-scores? Yes, absolutely. Uh, when we do the signal processing, we use a combination of techniques. And uh, some of our reference databases use various techniques. Our pro live processing technique is to do a mathematical transformation based on digital filtering and it's extremely fast. We actually process each sample as soon as it comes in. The response time inside the software is less than 30 milliseconds, which means that we're able to respond to a brain event faster than the brain itself can respond to it.